to take it off and we'll go for hot dogs. Try to take it off. Can you get it? Pull it. Pull it. It won't come off. One more off. time. Try, try it again, one more time with this hand. Try to get it. Oh. I'm going to demonstrate the difference between the current style of child seat belt restraint for shopping carts and the newly designed Hug Me. On the Hug Me, the strap goes around your child, snaps into place, and you can just pull it nice and tight, and it helps center the child in the seating area and keep them there so they can't wiggle left or right and you can't pull them out of it. Can't go forward except for the motion of the shopping cart itself, the mechanics of the shopping cart. So they can't, you know, wiggle left or right, up, forward. Now on the current style that's been out since around 1983-1984, fits around the child, and it's got attachment points on either side, making it harder to get a good fit on the child. So that's a nice solid tight fit there. The problem with that style seat belt is that the child can go side to side. They can twist. Can't move forward, but can go definitely side to side. And sliding out of them, um, it's not quite as difficult as it would appear. So that's also an issue that's been noted. And if you notice, the adjusting of it was a little harder than my method of doing it to hug me hug me just slide it around snap it together and you can pull it tight and you're good to go one thing I didn't I failed to mention was that the you notice that the buckle is close as possible to the right-handed side of the uh, hug me and the reason for that is that 90 percent of the children in the United States are right-handed and it's really hard to see, or it's really hard to get at the buckle with your uh, dominant hand, the right hand. You gotta bend it and contort it to try to get at it. And your non-dominant weaker hand, it's harder to reach all the way across their belly.